regarding the property, purchased the property in November, um, a week after the boiler became defective. Um, fortunately, prior to buying the property, I had um, got some insurance with British Gas. They were able to come around and inspect the, prop- um, inspect the boiler. They condemned the boiler and said that it wasn't uh, fit. They could do it, so they had to shut everything down. Um, in short, my question is, when I looked at the TA6, the property information form, the seller actually said the boiler was in good working order. When the gas, British Gas came to inspect it, um, they had said it, it's not, it, it, it couldn't have been in good working order. When I'd actually looked at, gone around to look at the property, I'd highlighted the point to the seller because there was an E1 error that was on the boiler. So I I, had, I have no idea what that means, Lorraine. Do you know what that means? That's fine. That just basically means the boiler's not working properly in okay. short. Um, so my question um, in summary is, I because prior to um, the completion date, I'd highlighted it to the um, seller that actually the boiler was defective. They've completed the form to say, the, i.e. the TA6 form to say that the boiler's fine. Do I have any legal recourse? Well, you might have. It depends on the exact wording of the TA6, the property information form. Uh, Because as long as the question was clear, how's the boiler and the answer was clear, it's in good working order, uh, and you can prove that it wasn't, you'll have a claim for the cost of replacing the boiler. It's that simple. More accurately, you'll have a claim for some of the cost of replacing the boiler because you can't get new for old. What you were buying was an old boiler, so you won't get all the costs back of a new boiler. You'll get some of them to reflect the value of the old boiler as it should have been if in working order. However, Lorraine, what was the exact wording? Did they say it's in good working order or did they say to the best of the seller's knowledge it's in good working order? There's a difference. Mm. Okay, so from what I can remember, the form says is it in good working order? And and they said, yes, it's just almost like a tick box. Okay, fine. Because certainly the, I, I, you know, I've only bought a couple of houses in my years, but um, certainly when I'm selling and filling in a TA6 and when I've bought houses, that form almost, almost always says to the best of the seller's knowledge in good working order, just as a, just as a way of, of getting out of liability. I didn't say Mm. that. Um, If it says that, of course, then you, it doesn't mean you, you don't win your claim. You'd have to show that the, seller knew or more accurately couldn't not have known that the boiler wasn't in working order and if it's if the uh, engineer who came around and inspected it said that the seller must have known it wasn't working properly then you just need a letter from the engineer to confirm that and hopefully you'll get the cost back how much is a yeah, new boiler well, I did. Um, well for, for this property it will be approximately just just a purchase of a new boiler so about two and a half thousand but that's with our installation, etc. It's quite expensive. Um, have, I mean, I'm, I, I'm not suggesting that you've gone to a particular organisation that is particularly expensive, but I found when I bought a new boiler four or five years ago, uh, the, the market leader charged about 50% more than most other boiler installation companies and, and sort of blokes who put in boilers for the same boiler. Mm. Have you tried getting alternate mm. quotes? Yeah, we have. The problem is, is because it's a four-bedroom house, what has to happen is that they have to take out the old flue, et cetera, et cetera. So it's um, scaffolding erection, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what, it's not necessarily the, the boiler per se, it's, it's you know, the taking out and the installation of the other ones that's costing us yep. a bit more money. All right, Lorraine, well, good luck with that. I think you should uh, succeed in that claim because if you can show that they must have known or did know that it wasn't in proper working order, you'll win your claim. Uh, I hope that goes nice and smoothly. You may have to bring a claim in the small claims court and speak to your solicitor as well. The solicitor who helped with the conveyance will be able to help with uh, how to actually bring a claim.